how have Apple made billions with the launch of their new iPhone 12 and I don't mean sales of their iPhone 12. This video is going to be discussing the dirty tactics that Apple have been using to not only save a whole bunch of money but also make a whole bunch of money from its customers like me and you. This may sound like a bit of a rant at Apple and that's because it is. So as I'm sure you're aware, Apple have brought out a whole new range of iPhones. The iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 mini, the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's quite ridiculous really. And I remember a time when Apple just brought out one phone and it was just a simple time. But anyways, they brought out all of these phones and actually they are quite good. They're a lot better than the iPhone 11, specifically the camera, the whole MagSafe, the 5G, quite quite good improvements over the previous phone. But we're not discussing how good the iPhones are in this video, we're discussing how Apple are screwing over their customers. Every few years, Apple like to do something quite controversial with the launch of their iPhone. When they first brought out the iPhone, it didn't come with a memory card slot, so the pathetic amount of memory you had in your phone was the maximum it would ever go to. And you know, that was really annoying but then they, they didn't do anything for a while. And then in 2016, they did one of the biggest things. They got rid of the headphone jack. Yes, that means headphones don't work anymore. Completely got rid of it. But the biggest change, no more headphone jack. This plug right here that we're all used to plugging in to listen to music will no longer exist on the iPhone 7. To save space, headphones will only plug into the lightning port, the same port used for charging. And whilst that was annoying, they included an adapter so that we could still use our headphones because some of us still have wired headphones. Except in 2018, they also removed the headphone adapter. So now they just assume everyone has a pair of wireless headphones or you have to just go out and buy an adapter yourself because they stopped including it. And now in 2020, not only have Apple removed the headphones entirely, completely, there's just no headphones in the box. They have also removed the single most important element to actually make your phone work. What is that item? That's the charger. They've removed the freaking charger. The thing that actually powers your phone is not included standard anymore. I was reading an article on The Verge and it was really interesting. They were saying that Apple could be trying to offset the increased cost of giving 5G to all of these phones because apparently the radio frequency component could actually cost an extra 30 to 35% for these iPhones. So it does make sense that Apple are trying to cut costs in other places to increase their profit margin or at least keep their profit margin. What's worse is the charger you currently have in your home might not work with these new iPhones. In fact, The Verge actually says, the cable that is included with the iPhone 12 isn't compatible with the power blocks included with many previous iPhones. Consumers who don't have a compatible charger lying around will need to purchase a USB-C wall charger or a wireless charger in order to use their new phones. Considering a lot of people are coming from an iPhone 10 or older straight to the iPhone 12, it means that they are going to have to buy a charger directly from Apple, which kind of throws their whole, it's good for the environment argument out the window because they're going to have to be packaging and shipping tons and tons of chargers, which is not gonna be good for the environment at all. And as well as that, they might be saving their own asses, but they're kind of spreading this bad for the environment on all these other third party companies who are going to have to pick up Apple slack and start selling third party chargers. The Verge actually says this, which I found very interesting. The problem is that buying chargers or headphones separately can mean more packaging waste and emissions from separate deliveries. Some of that might add to Apple's carbon footprint and some of it might get tacked onto different companies' carbon footprints if consumers decide to buy the accessories from other vendors. This doesn't necessarily reduce emissions overall, it just spreads the greenhouse gases around between different companies. So let's start with the removal of headphones because that's something I can actually somewhat understand. The majority of people do have wireless headphones. They do wanna push their AirPods as much as humanly possible. And as well as that, if you think about other products in their lineup, the iPads, right, the MacBooks, all of these products, they have a headphone jack, 
but they don't come with headphones. So why should the iPhone be any different? There's a lot more arguments for and against removing or keeping the headphones. And I'm not saying I agree with it, but I kind of understand it. So let's move on to the bigger problem at hand removing the charger. Well, Apple say it's to help the planet and they're trying to go carbon neutral by 2030. And in fact, their chargers are made from a durable thermoset plastic. And they can't be recycled. Not only can they not be recycled, the reason they're made from this special plastic is so that they don't melt at high temperatures and they don't warp. This is, you know, just for safety reasons. Quite interestingly as well, Apple did a survey to find out what people are doing with the chargers in the box. A lot of people are actually just, you know, putting them in a drawer with all their other chargers. However, one thing that I don't feel like Apple have considered properly here is this phone is a very powerful phone and it needs a specific charger to make it work. So people might actually use this charger out the box. I know when I bought my iPhone 11, Usually I will never use the charge out of the box because I have so many Apple chargers, but with that phone, because it required a more powerful charger, I actually use that charger out the box, but Apple aren't giving anyone the opportunity to do that. Another argument they have is now 70% more phones can actually fit on a pallet because of the you know, decrease in box size. And that's gonna be saving the planet on a huge level just because of the, the less deliveries, you know, less packaging, less travel, all of it, all of it, right? The whole process should be less. However, however, if you think about it like this, Apple will send certain amounts of phones to certain stores depending on their sales volume. So because of this huge decrease in box size and you know the huge increase in the number of iPhones that can fit on a pallet, you could find that there are pallets that aren't fully filled up going to shops. Because if a shop doesn't have the highest sales volume, Apple aren't gonna send them the same amount as a shop that does have a high sales volume. So the whole argument of, you know, we can fit more phones on a pallet doesn't necessarily work because they're going to be pallets that aren't full still going to shops. However, on the flip side, the fact that Apple can fit 70% more phones on a pallet is saving them probably hundreds and hundreds of millions. So yes, when they cover the story with it's good for the environment, if you look deeper, they're actually saving themselves such a huge amount of money. And as I said before, this whole argument of saving the planet by removing the chargers is BS. And that's because people who need a charger are still gonna have to go and buy a charger, which means Apple is still gonna have to ship them, they're still gonna have to package them, and they're still gonna be in circulation. If Apple turned around and said, we are removing chargers from the lineup, there is no possible way to get a charger anymore, then it becomes more understandable that it's actually an environmental decision. But the fact that they're not doing that goes to show it feels like it's more of a money decision, you know? They wanna make more money by doing this. And the biggest issue, if they just decide to remove all chargers, is how are people gonna charge their phones? Are they assuming people have, you know, a Mac that they can charge their phones with? Or are they assuming people already own a charger? People need to charge their phones. Apple can't rely on third-party companies to create chargers for them. So what's really going on here? Well, if we take 2018 as an average, just because those were the numbers I could find, there was around 217 million iPhones sold worldwide. And if we take just 10% of those people, which is 21,700,000, if we say only 10% of those people want to go and buy a charger and a MagSafe, which is the charger or just a charger, let's say it's both, right? That means Apple will make a whopping 1.2 billion from this little stunt. That is absolutely crazy. And that's only 10% of people buying the charger and the MagSafe. That is just ludicrous. And of course, the price of the iPhone hasn't gone down at all. What would have been nice is if Apple actually lowered the price by the cost of the charger by 58 pounds so that people could go and buy the MagSafe and the charging block, or forget the MagSafe, just 19 pounds so people could go and buy the charging block, that would have been nice, right? But no, the phone still costs the same, and on top of that, in order to do the most basic thing, which is charge your phone, you have to go and spend an extra minimum 19 pounds for an Apple charger. And just as a side note, so you can see how much they're really, really taking advantage of us. 
as you know, the iPhone doesn't include headphones anymore. So if we just take 5% of the people that bought an iPhone in 2018 and say, whilst they bought their phone, they added AirPods to their cart because of course they're gonna need AirPods, they're gonna need something some way of listening to their phone, right? So just 5%. That means Apple would make a further 1,725,150,000. That's just if 5% add AirPods to their cart. Okay, I'm done. I have one question to end this video. Do you think Apple should be including a charger in the box? They include a wire? They include the phone and they include this little piece of paper. Do you think they should be including a wire? Let me know in the comments down below what you think.